Next up, another massive behemoth in the industry, Microsoft. It's principally a software company founded by Bill Gates. Its core products are the Microsoft Office Suite and the Windows Server software line. It bought Nokia for $7 billion in 2014. The company has a market cap of just south of $600 billion, a P-E ratio of 28.67 and a dividend yield of 2.16%. Now, when you think Microsoft, you don't really think smartphones. I remember no. there was a very funny tweet. There was a, a Microsoft annual meeting um, and a whole bunch of employees were holding up their, their Nokia Lumens, uh, I think it was called. Your Lumia. And someone, <laughs> yeah, someone tweeted saying, you know, this is everyone who owns a Lumia in one <laughs> picture. <you know? laughs> well, absolutely. I mean, the Lumia really hasn't been adopted widely. And I think the main reason for that is the, the operating platform is Windows. Mm. So everyone's used to Android. Everyone's used to iOS, which is the Apple um, operating system. And there are loads of apps for those two operating systems. The Windows operating system has limited app rollout, mm. so it's actually quite a struggle to get that phone to work for you as well as um, a Samsung or an iPhone would, um, and or even a Google like Pixel <laughs> <Yeah>. phone with <laughs> Android. <laughs> so I think that's kind of where the challenge lies with those those Nokia smartphones, um, and. Also, when you think about Nokia, you don't necessarily think about the latest smartphone that mm. your friend has. You think about the trusty 3310. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so and they brought a new version out. Yes. And that's actually quite an interesting one because um, I'm not sure. I think it's a feature phone, right? Mm. So um, also pretty well priced. And maybe that's where their niche lies. And not in the premium product with the Windows, fancy Windows operating system and all the blocks because no one's using it. I think Dudley's got a 3310 in the back studio here, so yes, we can I pull it out it. after the break and <laughs> yeah, show everyone what it looks like. Yeah. Awesome, yeah. So that's a bit of a novelty thing, obviously, but I mean, essentially, Microsoft, the business is more about you know selling um, the the ability. Even if you own a Mac, you're going to buy Microsoft Suites yes. so you can have access to Excel and PowerPoint and so on. You know, we users of Apple in the office, um, Apple Macs, but we still have to buy those because when you're sharing files with other people, everyone's on Excel, everyone's on Word, everyone's on PowerPoint. So you still yeah. need that product. So it's a still a great company. I just wouldn't buy for its smartphone exposure. Not for its smartphone exposure at all. What I would buy Microsoft for is the fact that you have this kind of monopoly on, on this office suite and also the, the cloud services that go along with mm. Office Suite because I mean even our entire big huge boat of a company first ran recently migrated all of our computers to Office 365 mm. with the the kind the of cloud. the SharePoint. That's the Azure business. The yes. cloud, yeah. So everything's in the cloud now and and it's just the easiest way to do it if you own a PC or even a Mac with with Microsoft um, software on it. Yeah, our massive boat of a business, Vestac, with five employees, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we also just migrated across to Amazon Web Services. Yeah. So this, that's sort of the way um, these businesses are going. Everything's in the cloud. I know everyone was talking about the cloud um, a few years ago, but now we're actually seeing it happening and these companies making a lot of money. Yeah, you're actually seeing that annuity income and subscription mm. income um, come in for these companies and Microsoft is one of the biggest beneficiaries of that. So hot or not on Microsoft, Microsoft, regardless of the Nokia. So regardless <laughs> of the Nokia, I'm hot on Microsoft because the valuation actually looks quite compelling and because they have this, they've, they've, they've really got a monopoly in that in the cloud services industry that is actually quite competitive. Um, yeah, it's a good well-run business. Mm. I agree with you. I'm also going to be hot on that in the right sectors uh, with the right people.